So guys, welcome back to Fenrir and we've got a really fun case today. So this is uh, Jack, a uh, Collie mix breed, who has come to me today through um, a, a bit of an emergency consultation really. He has, his owners have been really struggling with what they said was extreme reactivity, extreme dog to dog aggression. They've really struggled being able to take him for a walk because anytime he sees another dog, he just ramps up, the aggression goes mad. He's a very food, a uh, toy driven dog, but when they've been to other more positive based trainers and they've said you need to lure them with food, lure them with toys, he's brilliant in an environment with no distractions, but out in a real life situation, all goes out the window and there's no amount of toy or food that will bring that reactivity and aggression down when they see another dog. We're going to start with my basic tune up drill. I'm going to swap out to my slip lead from a flat collar and normal lead. And what I want to do is right now, you can see he's looking off in the distance. I want to tap into that super intelligent mind of his and I've got a few different options. So I've got a toy in my pocket. I've got a pocket full of treats. I'm going to use my slip lead for a little bit of lead pressure. We're going to change directions. And when I start to build that engagement, doing my tune up, he's going to get praised and rewarded. If he isn't following and in tune with me, he'll get a little bit of lead pressure. That'll build engagement. Um, and then I can use that communication. We'll get dogs out. We'll do some similar drills. It'll be fun. This is as standard as it comes. This will be a dead easy one. Um, and yeah, bread and butter, really fun case. So let's kind of dive into it. So as is always the case with any kind of training tool, we go high and tight right behind his ears. That gives us the best amount of communication. We use our toggle just to keep it up there. As you can see, I can still easily get my fingers behind so it's not too tight, but it will just hold that position and allow me to communicate really effectively with him. So let's dive straight into it. So we're going to get him moving. And then this will be the first. So he's off in it. Let's go. Good. And you see he's ignored me. Let's go. Good. Jack, let's go. Good. So again, he's a smart dog. Let's go. Yes. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You can have a treat for that one. Good boy. Good boy. So you saw there, that was a beautiful example. So Jack, let's go. Lovely. So now he's in tune with me. The first few reps, he was doing what he wants. When he did that, he got that little bit of a pop on the slip lead. Jack, let's go. Good. Just to let him know, you need to pay attention to me. Now look at this already, engagement, eye contact, good boy. Yes, let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy, thank you. Good boy. It really isn't looking, yeah, get in and get, let's go. Good. Yes, engagement, eye contact, brilliant, Jack. Yes, let's go. Oh, you good boy. Oh, you good boy. I'm gonna let you have a tug. Yes, oh, good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Engage with me, listen to me, and the best things in the world happen. Yes. Oh, good boy. Jack, drop. Good, yes. And you're gonna have to work for that. You don't get that for free. By engaging with me, you got that. I'm now putting a barrier to entry in front of this thing that I know he really likes. And we're gonna practice that drill again. So we can go back this way. Jack, let's go. Yes, good. Sometimes you get paid with food. Yes, good, let's go. He wasn't engaged with me, didn't act quickly. So he gets a little bit elite. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yes, that was a very good one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And very quickly, a dog as smart as this will realise that all these wonderful things happen when you just listen to me. Yes, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, you're a strong boy. Yes. Drop. Yes, good. Good boy. Good. Yes. So anytime we're working and we're working together and he's listening and he's engaging with me, praise, reinforcement's going to happen. If you disengage and don't listen to me, I'm just going to snap you out of that and bring that engagement back. And we just drill that and we repeat it. That is the quickest, most efficient way for me to come in very quickly with a dog and establish leadership straight away. Off that leadership builds relationship and then off that relationship, I can now communicate with him. And a dog as smart as this is going to be fluent in our communication style within 10 minutes. Now, the beauty of this, again, it might seem silly that I'm just going back and forward and wandering around, but what's going to happen there is, like I say, leadership, relationship, communication. Now, when I bring a dog out and he wants to lunge towards it and I say no, he's going to go, oh, yeah, no worries. I know I need to listen to that and he'll ignore it. And again, we just simply build that up, hand that skill off to the owners, and jobs are good and they're ready to uh, 
have that dream dog that they've been pulling their hair out about that positive only trainer said he can never be around other dogs ever again and within a few minutes i promise you he's gonna be romping around this field with my role model dogs living his best life just because i've come in and quickly instilled a little bit of leadership a bit of relationship which now means we can communicate so again instead of commentating to you i'm going to do a few more repetitions of this probably 10 15 minutes the cameraman's going to keep filming so i'll either speed it up and cut back if anything really fun happens or uh, we'll just cut ahead if this because it's just the same principle it's not rocket science so as the cameraman can see we've got one of my role model dogs out with joe he's just going to keep uh in a sit and stay and you can see that instantly this energy level comes up now he's trying to make the decision of oh i'm used to going over that way but we've been doing this thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this same drill and just slowly i'm going to build up and get closer and i guarantee what's going to happen is this and i'm going to very quickly come in and let her know we don't do that anymore i want you to work with me and again, you can see excitement, that's okay. When we drill it, we're gonna practice it. So you can see she's already checking back to me and doesn't know what to do. So my first turn is gonna be breaking her out of this fixation that she's got. It will probably require a little bit of lead pressure. We'll find out. As always, I give him the opportunity for success before I correct it. That's only fair. But if he doesn't listen to me, I'm just gonna snap him out of it. And then we're just gonna keep practicing this drill. Why there's a dog there, which for years, has meant that this dog can't be walked around other dogs and already look at the massive levels of improvement. So again, Jack, let's go. Yes, good. So no need for correction. Good. And as soon as we see, yes. So again, building engagement, we'll tune this heel up. Yes. So he's looking to me, yes. Dog's right here, let's go. Good, yes. Good boy, straight back onto me. Positive things happen when you come back to me. Let's go. Yes, good boy. Yes, good. Eye contact. Beautiful. Let's wait until this dog triggers it. Right close now. Let's go. Oh, good boy. That one was superb. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good boy. Oh, yes. Yes, good. Oh, yes. Good boy. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Drop. Yes, good. Good boy. And again, puppy's crying. This actually suits me really nicely. Good. I'm going to go straight back into that drill. And I really want to get to a point where I can walk around them. Yes, bringing that attention back. Let's go. Yes, good. Yes. So he wants to go to puppy, but he doesn't. Yes. Back on me. Yes, good. Good boy. Brilliant. So again, look how close we're able to get and I'm still demanding this attention. I don't care what's happening there because I am in charge of this situation. All you need to do is look up to me for guidance and direction and everything's going to be okay. So what was 30 minutes ago was the owners thinking that this is going to be a full blown fight. We can have them stood right by each other. He's calm, he's relaxed. Again, I'm going to bring this attention. Yes, good. Good boy. Yes. And I'm going to pay that. So again, I'm going to take another step forward. Yes. Good. Good boy. Good. Yes. So again, you don't make the decisions here. I'm making them. Good. Yes. Good boy. And look, <coughs> he's a smart boy. He wants these good things to happen over me correcting him. He wants to please me and impress me. And just for a bit of balance, again, at no point am I hurting him. We've got a nice wagging tail. He's relaxed with a dog that for years, this close to a dog has caused him to lose his mind. Now that stems from... Yes, good. Yes, good boy. That stems from there being no communication this way down the lead. So he's finding himself in a situation going, oh, well, they're terrified. I don't, all right, I've got it, boss. I'll deal with this thing that's clearly making you scared. I'm now coming into this situation as an assertive leader, and I'm calm. And if you don't look up to me, I'm going to tell you, no, I'm in charge. Look up to me, here, up here. Speak to me, and everything's okay. And now we've got two dogs, relaxed body language, never met each other before this today. 
and are just relaxed because they're feeding off the energy of the humans, of the leaders involved in this situation because we're all being calm, dogs are being calm. And again, now, because he wants... Again, that's not acceptable. Jack, yes, good. Giving him the opportunity and letting him know that you making that decision isn't acceptable. So I'm just going to quickly tell you, fair, balance. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Thank you. And again, we're going to slowly get closer. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Thank you for brilliant patience. Yes. Good. Yes. You rip that avocado to pieces. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go, you. Jack. Yes. Good. Brilliant. Good. So, again, we're going to keep drilling this now. And we've got, we're still in session number one. We've got four sessions allocated for this. So, literally, as these sessions go on, I'm going to bring multiple dogs out. I'm going to probably do an agility course with multiple people standing with dogs. And I'm going to have Jack weaving in and out. If you pull towards that dog, I'm gonna remind you, no, nope, up here, up here. When you come up here to me, I'm gonna pay you for it. This one now, I'm gonna do a few just laps around puppy. This should really boggle both of their minds. Let's go. Yes, good, yes. Let's go. Yes, good, yes, good. This one will really test him. Having a dog behind him, sit, yes. So again, it's confusing. There's a strange dog behind him, but everything is going to be okay. All you need to do, yes, is look up to me. I will look after you. You don't have to look after me and be reactive to that dog because I'm in charge. Yes, good. Yes, good. Yes, good. 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 Yes. So what I'm going to do here is um, again, I imagine I'm going to send this footage to the owner and it will make them blow their mind. Jack, yes, good. But puppy's now off a lead. This has been a wonderful session, number one. Um, and I'm going to reward this with a break. And you're going to observe a dog that is, is here with, for me, yes, for severe dog to dog aggression that has been not been able to be fixed by a lot of positive trainers with a lot of money spent on it with this we're what would you say cameraman 15 minutes 15 minutes into this session good boy jack break break the puppy just stand away joe and because of this i'm here to be in control and there we go, guys. I'm going to wrap that up now. Yes, we've got two or three more sessions with this, but like I say, I don't need to take you along for the journey because you're going to see nothing different. I'm going to get multiple dogs out. I'm going to get different dogs. Probably going to take it up to the road, do it by some traffic and some other people, just layer up the distractions. But in terms of fixing the problem, absolutely. When the owner comes back later, we're going to do a 30, 60 minute session of me showing this first that'll instill that confidence that i talked about and then handing that off to the owner coaching them through it me observing where is it that you're giving that fearful anxious energy to your dog helping them through that process bringing some dogs out letting them do it with other dogs again confidence 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 that will give them that leadership and assertiveness and then again like i say doesn't that melt your heart? It's the best thing in the world. The best thing in the world. Owners that are nearly in tears, that have spent a fortune, that love that dog to pieces and will do anything for it, but have been resorting to not being able to take him to busy places, not being able to let him off lead and play with other dogs, having to walk him early in the morning or late at night. And now he can go anywhere with them with nothing more than a bit of leadership uh, and a slip lead and jobs are good. And so we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe for more. Peace.